What is Adobe Experience Manager, AEM, and how does it work? Adobe Experience Manager, AEM, is a content management system that allows users to create, manage, and publish content across multiple channels and devices. It works by providing a web-based interface for managing digital assets, creating and managing web pages, and configuring workflows to automate content publishing and management tasks. How do you create a new page in AEM and what are some important components to include? To create a new page in AEM, you can use the AEM page editor or create a new page template. Some important components to include on a page include a header, footer, navigation, and content areas such as text, images, and videos. What is the difference between a component and a template in AEM? A component in AEM is a reusable building block that can be used to create pages and templates. Templates, on the other hand, define the overall structure of a page, including its layout and which components are used. Templates are used to create new pages based on a predefined structure, while components can be used in multiple templates and pages. How do you manage content in AEM, including adding and editing text, images, and videos? Content in AEM can be managed through the AEM page editor or by using the AEM assets interface. Within the editor or assets, users can add and edit text, images, and videos by using various editing tools and options, including drag and drop and copy and paste functionality. What is the AEM content repository and how do you use it to store and manage assets? The AEM content repository is a centralized location for storing and managing digital assets, including images, videos, and documents. Users can upload assets to the repository and then manage them by adding metadata, setting permissions, and organizing assets into folders and collections. What are some common AEM workflows and how do you create and manage them? Common AEM workflows include approval workflows, publishing workflows, and translation workflows. Workflows can be created and managed using the AEM workflow editor, which allows users to define the steps of the workflow, set up notifications and alerts, and configure workflow triggers. What is AEM Touch UI and how do you use it to create and manage content? AEM Touch UI is a modern, responsive user interface that allows authors and administrators to create and manage content in AEM. It provides drag and drop functionality and a WSWG editor for creating and editing content. How do you create custom AEM workflows and what are some best practices to follow? Custom AEM workflows can be created using the workflow console in AEM. Best practices include using a consistent naming convention, setting clear business rules, and thoroughly testing the workflow before deployment. What is AEM Query Builder, and how do you use it to search for content in AEM? AEM Query Builder is a tool for building complex queries to search for content in AEM. It uses a SQL-like syntax and allows for filtering by metadata, full-text search, and more. What are AEM templates and how do you use them to create consistent pages and components? AEM templates are predefined structures that can be used to create consistent pages and components in AEM. They provide a framework for defining components, layout, and other page properties, which can be easily customized for specific use cases. How do you manage AEM permissions and access control for users and groups? AEM permissions and access control can be managed through the AEM User Administration Console. Permissions can be set at the user or group level and can be granted or denied for specific activities or content areas within AEM. What is AEM Dispatcher and how does it help optimize the delivery of content? AEM Dispatcher is a caching and load balancing tool that helps optimize the delivery of content in AEM. It caches frequently accessed content and routes requests to the appropriate server, reducing server load and improving site performance. What is AEM Forms and how do you use it to create and manage forms? 
AEM Forms is a module within Adobe Experience Manager that enables users to create, manage, and publish digital forms. It offers drag-and-drop interfaces to create forms and supports features such as form validation, submission, and integration with third-party systems. What are AEM packages and how do you use them to deploy code and content changes? AEM packages are a way to bundle and deploy code and content changes in Adobe Experience Manager. They contain the necessary files and metadata needed to install a set of changes, which can be applied to an AEM instance using the Package Manager interface. What are some common AEM deployment models, and how do you choose the right one for your project? Some common AEM deployment models include single author and publish instances, cluster environments, and cloud-based deployments. The deployment model you choose depends on factors such as project size, expected traffic, and the need for scalability and redundancy. How do you integrate AEM with other systems, such as CIM or e-commerce platforms? AEM provides a number of integration options, including RESTful Web Services, OSGI Services, and Adobe IOAPIS. Integration with third-party systems can be achieved using Adobe's Connector Framework, which provides pre-built connectors for common enterprise systems. What is AEM Sites, and how do you use it to create and manage multi-channel websites? AEM Sites is a module within Adobe Experience Manager that provides a platform for creating and managing multi-channel websites. It offers features such as drag-and-drop page authoring, responsive design, and built-in analytics and personalization capabilities. What is AEM Assets and how do you use it to manage digital assets such as images and videos? AEM Assets is a module within Adobe Experience Manager that enables users to manage digital assets such as images and videos. It provides features such as metadata management, versioning, and digital rights management, and integrates with Adobe Creative Cloud for seamless asset creation and editing. How do you use AEM Translation to create and manage multilingual content? AEM Translation allows you to create and manage multilingual content in AEM. You can create and manage translation projects and use machine translation or human translation to translate content. Once translated, you can manage the translations in AEM and publish them to your website. What is AEM Launch and how do you use it to manage marketing tags and analytics? AEM Launch is a tag management solution that allows you to manage marketing tags and analytics for your website. You can use AEM Launch to deploy tags, track website activity, and collect data for analysis. AEM Launch is integrated with Adobe Analytics and provides a user-friendly interface for managing tags and analytics. What is AEM Multi-Site Manager and how do you use it to manage multiple sites from a single interface? AEM Multi-Site Manager is a tool that allows you to manage multiple websites from a single interface in AEM. You can use AEM Multi-Site Manager to create and manage multiple websites and share content and assets across them. AEM Multi-Site Manager provides a user-friendly interface for managing multiple websites and makes it easy to share content and assets across them. How do you use AEM Commerce to create and manage e-commerce websites? AEM Commerce is a tool that allows you to create and manage e-commerce websites in AEM. You can use AEM Commerce to manage products, orders, and payments and integrate with third-party e-commerce solutions. AEM Commerce provides a user-friendly interface for managing e-commerce websites and makes it easy to integrate with third-party solutions. What is AEM Screens and how do you use it to create digital signage solutions? AEM Screens is a tool that allows you to create digital signage solutions in AEM. You can use AEM Screens to create and manage digital signage content and deploy it to a variety of devices, including screens, kiosks, and mobile devices. 
AEM Screens provides a user-friendly interface for managing digital signage solutions and makes it easy to deploy content to a variety of devices. What are some best practices for AEM development, including coding standards and version control? Some best practices for AEM development include following coding standards and guidelines, using version control to manage code changes, and using automated testing and deployment tools. Other best practices include using AEM components and templates to create modular and reusable code, and documenting code and processes for future reference. How do you troubleshoot common AEM issues, such as slow page load times or missing content? To troubleshoot common AEM issues, you can use AEM's built-in debugging and logging tools, review server logs and error messages, and use third-party monitoring and testing tools to diagnose issues. Other troubleshooting techniques include reviewing code and configuration changes, and working with the AEM community and support resources to find solutions.